Good evening. The Cayman Islands Football Association Premier League season came to an exciting close last evening. Let's take a look at some highlights as Champion Scholars International celebrate victory after a grueling season. Fireworks setting off the night of celebrations as the new Premier League champions are crowd, crowned at the Edbush Sports Centre. The team sponsor, Paul Campbell, a happy man after the top West Bay side, uh, secured the victory. Here he is giving out uh, prizes to the junior boys and girls team. Mark Campbell, I think it is. Uh, but it was on it was on this night that the seniors replaced elite as champions. Let's get to the highlights. The title had already been wrapped up, so last night's loss was irrelevant to scholars. They went down 3-2. Youngsters future producing a stirring performance, beating scholars on the evening. Two goals from the boots of the exciting youngster. Number nine, there he is, Mark Ebanks, setting up a well-deserved victory for Coach Uta and his team. Future giving a preview of what's to come next season. Another result, Bowden Towns 2-1 loss to Tigers, pushing Georgetown to second in the standings. Georgetown came from behind to score an exciting draw with Sunset. Sunset lost their relegation bat battle and they will be headed to the first division next year. Former champions Elite as well, they scored a 3-0 victory over Roma, a hat-trick from George Belcher giving Elite that victory. The FA Cup Finals on May 2nd wrap up yet another exciting season of football. Staying with football, the local football association is hosting this week's FIFA and CONCACAF Technical Director Seminar. Cayman is the first Caribbean island to host a seminar for some of the world's football program's directors. Technical Director for our national program, Carl Brown, wants to use this opportunity, the three-day seminar, to forge closer ties with the larger football in nations. The thing that I love to do is to make a plea for particularly the bigger associations in the regions, how much they can help us. Mm -hmm. You know, in 1984, I attended a course in, in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and one of the things that I, I was able to achieve there was to get um, the bigger association there to send teams to Jamaica to, to play us in friendly games. And, and that was one way of us affording to play practice games. Trinidad and Tobago's Alvin Cornell will be FIFA's instructor for the course, which runs from tomorrow morning at the Westin Hotel. More than 200 runners rose early yesterday for this year's edition of the Earth Day Run. Buzzing by our cameraman, Layson Peterson, who's standing in the middle. I don't know why. South Sound was blocked with the runners and walkers celebrating Earth Day. The runners made their way down South Sound into Georgetown, passing key landmarks before making their way back to the start. Most of the runners smartly attired in their green and their Earth Day t-shirts as well, with the logo designed by the students of the Lighthouse School. That's it for sports this evening.